doing pressure down for you, and I promised you to have the cure on the show. What's the best thing having the cure on the show? Talking to Robert Smith. Robert, welcome back to Countdown. Thank you. How you doing? I'm all right. Tired. Tired. As usual. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. You weren't. You're not always tired when you're on Countdown, are you? Yeah. It seems that because we do them all in one go, I yeah. always come across as being very, you know, sort of. Hey, laid back. Yeah. That's, that, that's. I'm not usually. It's just when I'm doing interviews. You've been doing a lot of promotion, I hear. Yeah, it's just that we have to we have to keep getting up in the morning and flying to a different country. Well, we don't have to. We're doing it through choice, but it's just it gets to be a bit of a pain every mm -hmm. now and again. This, of course, isn't. It's a lot of fun, right? <laughs> so, uh, how long have you been uh, been working on promoting this single? Why can't I be you? I, I yeah. presume. Um, it's only about five or six days now, but it seems like an eternity. Five, five or six months. Yeah. You were in South America. Yeah. You're very popular there, or The Cure is very popular there. Yeah, we were surprised. It's like um, uh, you played for, a fo was it a football stadium in Buenos Aires? Yeah, yeah, the riot. The f tell us, tell, yeah, us, yeah, I mean, tell us all the good news, riot. come on, tell us about it. Yeah, it was just, um, we, we were really surprised when we went there. We knew that we sold records there, but we weren't prepared for the sort of bedlam that, that occurred. Mm -hmm. We got off the plane, there was like television and... It was really frightening, a lot of it. Mm -hmm. And um, they, they, we just we were playing like a 17,000 capacity stadium. We were doing two nights and we thought, you know, we won't even fill it one night. And as it turned out, th it wasn't enough and people couldn't get in and they called in riot police and they tried to burn the stadium down. <laughs> and typical like, underreaction of South Americans. That must have been a lot of fun, though. Was it yeah, 70, it was, you know, th they were very uh, frenzied. It was good fun. Yeah? The concerts were good. Now, and uh, right now, are you, are you working on your album? Is it finished, or what's, what's yeah, exactly all, is the deal? It's all finished. It's all done. Te well, tell, um, tell us about it. It's called Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Kiss Me. Okay. And it's a I won't, album. I won't, I won't. Not yet, not yet, not no. yet. <laughs> and it's um, out, I think, in about two weeks' time, or whenever that is, May something. I'm not done, uh, it's May the yeah, 12th. We'll be in the May yeah, by then. Yeah, yeah, right, so it's out very shortly, or it might even be out at the moment. Um, yeah, we finished it at Christmas, so it's been hanging around for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, besides doing this album, you also did a movie, I believe? Yes, the, we're very busy, aren't we? The Cure in Orange? Yeah, that, just at the end of last year, we were playing um, some festivals in the south of France in old amphitheatres, and it just looked like we should make a film. So we did it. It was really spontaneous. And um, it was made by Tim Pope, who's been doing all our videos mm -hmm. and stuff. It looks like a Tim Pope film, so... Which is probably good. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a very strange live film, mm -hmm. but that's out in London now, and I don't know about the rest of Europe yet. So what is, it's all live gigs, no, no real storylines? It's, it's just the one concert, the one, mm -hmm. it's just one, perfor one performance, but it's, it's filmed in a very sort of... Some of it's quite strange, but... <laughs> as it would be. Well, <laughs> it's, uh, it was just for our benefit, because we're expanding to a six-piece in the next month, so it'll be like the, oh. the, like the last bit of that particular... Friend of Cure. So. Well, we'll talk about that. We're very curious about that. <laughs> First, let's take a look at a video. Can we play a special one for you? Um, what, of anyone's video? Any or ours? No, anyone's video. Um, some candy. Jesus and Mary Chain video. Do we have that? Jesus and Mary Chain? You must have it. Eh, we're sorry. We don't have that video um, on file. Okay, then. Uh, the Kate Bush video. Good. Any Kate Bush video. Running up that hill? That would be good. Okay, we'll take a break first, and uh, after the break, we'll be back with Kate Bush running up that hill. Don't go away. That's Kate Bush by video request running up that hill. This running up that hill, right? Yeah. Running up that hill, okay. Yeah. Still talking to Robert Smith of The Cure. You said you can expand to a six piece. Yes, we're stealing a keyboard player called uh, Roger from the Psychedelic Furs. Oh, do yeah. you know that, that David Bowie is a big fan of the Psychedelic Furs? Yeah, and Tim Post doing David Bowie's new video. Nah, so. I mean, the, how small can the world get? Yeah. <laughs> tell, tell us about the, the, the song Why Can't I Be You? It sounds like maybe you wrote it for somebody in particular. Um, I wrote it 
to earth and it's sort of got a double it's got a twist it's some of the time I just wish that I was other people not very often cool. just when I'm being sort of pointed at too much I wish I could disappear but um, generally it's, a, it's what other people say to me that they wish they could do what I'm doing it's funny though you know you would like to be other people sometimes when all those other people probably want to be you yeah but uh, it's not a very serious song None of our pop songs are very serious. Oh, which songs we, are? We save those for the, for the albums. Wh yeah. Which serious songs can we expect then on the album? It's a very peculiar record. It doesn't sound like Why Can't I Be You. It's got um, everything from, like, it goes from Booker T and the MGs through to Chic, through to sort of, um, sort of weird Eastern music. You know? Well, I can't, can't wait to hear it. I, I haven't heard anything from it yet, but it'll be out soon, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, um, any definite plans for the future? Maybe... A short tour here or there? We're, um, we're not going to be playing in Europe until after the summer cause, because there's like 18 new songs on it. We thought well, we'd let people get familiar with it so mm -hmm. that we can interpret rather than promote because I think it's a bit dreadful going out and playing a whole bunch of new songs and people don't know what they're like. Also, mm -hmm. we need to rehearse as well. <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> Do that. Hey, listen, if you're, you know, if you're ever in the neighbourhood, drop by again. Okay. And uh, if I can invite you to walk over right past Frank onto our countdown stage and we'll see you back soon. Bye now. <laughs> On stage, here's the cure doing Why Can't I Be You?